Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I would say how's it like hanging, but I feel like I have some explaining to do. Where have I been? That yeah, that's just it. I I don't particularly have an answer for you other than the fact that uh, I have start I started uni in September and should really be doing an assignment right now actually, but here I am. Here I am. And it's been a hectic few days. I've been uh, working on film sets and I've been working like my usual barista job but I wanted to pop in and say hey how's it hanging I'm still alive Black Friday just passed what did you pick up because I'm about to show you what I picked up because I'm quite excited I didn't pick up any like new-ish makeup it's kind of makeup that I just wanted for a really long time like bucketless makeup you know so yeah uh how you guys been doing comment down below how you guys have been doing if you're new here my name's Angus I'm Almost 23. I'm 23 next week, uh, on the 18th of December. I am South African that lives in England. We have some few few new friends I've been watching. I've been keeping my eyes out, trying to reply to the comments, even though I haven't been posting, just because, you know, I haven't had time to film doesn't mean I don't have time to interact with you guys. Uh, on that note, you should definitely subscribe, ring the bell for my awkward uploads. And follow me on Instagram, guys. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Maybe I'll post, start posting on there as well. So first thing that I, I'm gonna show you the items first and then I will demonstrate them. So first things first. Oh, also to address the background change, I'm actually filming in our conservatory because I thought the white wall would be a nice change. Got a white top on. Um, and then obviously my skin just blends into the, the background, which is a bit awkward, but it is what it is. So. Uh, first things up we've got is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is what it looks like. I got the shade 2 because uh, this is the lightest one and I am the lightest in everything. And then I picked up this Honest Beauty Midnight Reflection Luminizing Glow Powder. So this is like a, like a highlighter which I've wanted for the longest time. If you watch a girl named Ali Glines, I'll link her channel down below. She speaks so highly of this. So I was desperate to pick it up. And then I also picked up the Anastasia Brow Freeze. But uh, yeah, it's just clear. It's literally like there's nothing special about it. And then I actually also wanted to try this. So we know a long time friend, Becca Cosmetics, has closed down. But you can still find some of their stuff on TK Maxx, like in TK Maxx. So Danny actually picked this up for me. It's the Becca, the Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. Okay. The stuff is thick. Like, I don't know if this is dry or it's just like that thick. Also, I wanted to talk to you about, I also picked up the, I've started a new like skincare regime because obviously it's winter now, so you want to change it up. So I also picked up the Biosance Squalene Antioxidant Cleansing Oil. This is my first step cleanser. And then I've actually changed like all of my products. I now use the uh, hydrating cream to foam cleanser from CeraVe. This is new. I haven't seen this before and I saw it in the shop the other day. So I thought I'd pick it up because I like foaming cleansers. So the fact that they ch changed their hydrating cleanser into a foaming one was very nice. And then I still use my Vichy Mineral 89. Very highly recommend this stuff. And then I kind of use the CeraVe moisturizer, but I also mix it in with this... Uh, comfort Zone Renight Cream. Um, I recently got this in my Look Fantastic box. They were having a special, so I decided to pick it up. I recently like just got it and I tried it out and I really, really like it. And then as my sunscreen, this, this is my hidden secret. This is what makes my skin always look glowy. When you see me in person, if my skin looks glowy, it's this. It is the best sunscreen that money can buy. It's 23 pounds, it's from the Body Shop. It's the Skin Defense, uh, SPF 50 PA plus 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 and it is sensational. I cannot recommend this product anymore. I actually like all of these products. They're working really well for my skin. My skin has gone from combo to kind of just dry now. So let's zoom you guys in and start. First things first, I'm gonna do my brows first. So I recently, so I've got this mini size of the Benefit 24 hour brow setter and I took the stuff out because I thought it was finished 
she wasn't finished. This thing is full. So I use the flat side first in the brush and then I lay the product on to scoop up my brows. I was gonna use the brow freeze. I don't have a spoolie, funny enough, of all the things I don't have in the world. So I'm just gonna let them dry now and then I'll come back with like a pen and fill anything in if I want to. I don't generally always fill them in. Okay, so for primer, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter you can use as a primer as well all over your skin, which I'm going to do. But I'm just gonna lay down some, some oh, Flawless Buddy Primer first. Put it in my travel area. For me, this just smooths out my skin, makes it look flawless, and then everything that I lay on top of it just like lays really well. So now we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade two. Everyone seems to focus it on like their high points, but then other people like go in, did I just miss the tube completely and just make it? Other people like go in all over their face, so I'm gonna go in with all over my face, because why not? I, okay, immediately do not like this applicator, it makes a mess, and when you're spending this much on a product, you don't want it to look messy, you don't want it to look messy, love. And then I'm just going to take this Real Techniques 200 brush. So, they say that this, like, gives no coverage in terms of, like, it's meant to be, like, a filter that you wear, like, underneath your... Glow. Whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna blend it out and see whether I would want to add a foundation on top of this or whether I just like use concealer because most likely, judging by the amounts of coverage that I generally like on my face, I probably, I probably most likely will just use a concealer and leave it at that because I don't like a lot of coverage on my face, I don't like to feel heavy, I don't feel like to feel like Cakeness, and especially we're gonna use the Becca concealer, and that's like high coverage. So, so this is what we're looking like. We're looking. She tin man. She tin man. She tin man. This is really nice though. It's like kind of tacky, but it's like the kind of tack that like maybe would set down. So I have. I'm a bit scared about this Becca concealer because it's quite white so what i might do is just take it on my finger and see how we go just tap it in like that see like that's i'm pretty sure that's too white for me so like okay let's compare it to my elf hydrating camo concealer which is i find the best matching concealer i've ever had in my entire life and then next to that is my milk flex concealer all both of these work, but the milk one is definitely darker. Can you see that? So we have the milk one, the elf one, and then the Becca one. And that is, that's white, huh? That is, let's mix them all three together. Load up the brush. I'm like, basically I've mixed them all together. Load it, and then I'm just gonna So you can see that Becca one is like sitting in my inner corner where I originally put it. So you can see like that is a lot brighter than that. So I might take... Like the teeniest, tiniest bit. Remember, I don't blend my concealer right to my lash line because I think it takes away from like the natural-esque nature that we're trying to do here. Someone actually commented this on my last video and they said that they were like, oh, someone that doesn't blend up right to their lash line. And I think I replied to the comment and I said, I think people do that because it like blanks out their under eyes so they get the true color of the shadow. And obviously I don't wear eyeshadow, so for me, it's a better option. And my beauty blender is wet. So I'm just gonna go around my face now and just pick up any excess product that is like Chilling. Now, mm, looking at my face, I could probably... Let's take a bit of extra coverage, why not? L'Oreal Tree Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. 1% pure hyaluronic acid. Thanks, L'Oreal. I'm gonna apply it with my beauty blender, because I... That is my preferred method of putting on base product. I'm gonna remember to avoid the under eye, because I've already put concealer in there, so... My forehead is probably generally the area that needs coverage the most. Um... 
I don't know why, but it is just like that. And then I'm going to take that brush I was using with concealer and not carve out my brows, but just go around them so we don't get any found diddly-dation on them. Have you guys ever noticed that I switch between accents sometimes saying so, certain things? Like, that, I mean, it wasn't very good, but I learned that from Shawnee and Michael. Give this video a thumbs up if you used to watch Shawnee and Michael. I mean, or still do, I still do. We're looking ghostly, as per usual. Yeah, so that's how we're looking. This is with the, look at glow. Next up, we're gonna go in with Green contour. So I'm gonna pick up the my Patrick Ta She Statuesque Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. So this is the lighter shade. If you watch Alana Davison, she uses the Smith a Smith brush to do her cream contour, and I think it looks really good. I don't. This is the the most similar brush to her. It's a lot bigger than hers, but this is what I have right now. So for right now, I'm gonna use this brush. And keeping it quiet to the back here, because you can see here, this is where like my beard starts. So product doesn't always stick there, so I have to go a bit heavier in that section on me. So like I stamped to get the product on, and then to like blend it seamlessly, I kind of just like do circle motions, and it doesn't disrupt anything underneath, which is nice. While I'm doing this, what have you guys been up to? Like, do you want me to give you a life update? Because there's nothing really interesting. I'm just Working loads, trying to get uni done, trying to get third year uni done, you know? I want to make content, but and then I get stressed because I'm not doing uni work, and then I get like anxious and, you know, student things. But yeah, but uh, baby Samuel is good. Still is making no appearances, unfortunately. He, uh, my sister is very particular about his face being shown. Uh, which I completely respect and I completely understand. So unfortunately, there was going to be very little content of him, which I'm not sad about because it makes him feel more special to me. <laughs> but yeah, but he's good. He's doing great. He he's amazing. He's like the most amazing little guy ever. I'm gonna take my number seven translucent perfect light pressed powder in the shade translucent. <laughs> I'm just gonna set under my eyes. This is a glossy welder brush. I find this like the perfect density for setting underneath your eyes because it's like essentially the same density as like an eyeshadow brush. So it like does the same thing, it's just a bit bigger so it's easier to hold. Because we are using the Honest Beauty highlighter, I wanted to use my Honest Beauty blush, cream blush in the shade Rose Pink. And I'm just gonna dip my sponge in there and then start at the back of my cheeks and then work my way forward. And then I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, TLC as, TLS, sorry, TLS as Jamie Genevieve calls it, her Laura Mercier TLS. And this Morphe M556 brush, and I'm just gonna pick them up, dust it off in a cap, and then kind of like dunk my brush in there so we can get some like the brush is almost fully loaded, like right to like the ends of the bristles, and then just gently dust over. We are back to wearing masks in the UK, so I'm gonna make sure you make it set so it doesn't run away. But yeah, but otherwise, doing like loads of assignments, I got a first one back, I didn't do too well, but I passed, and I really thought I was gonna fail. Don't tell my dad. Okay, so our face is set, and you can see that the the shine of that Hollywood folders filter is still coming through. It's like, it's incredible. Um, so we're gonna go back to brows because my brows are set now. I'm gonna take my NYX Lift and Snatch. I, guys, I only use this brow pen. I don't use anything else. And it's, I think this is so good. This is a NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in the shade Ash Brown. I tried to like use similar brands in this video just to keep it, you know, within the family. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Foam Star Bronzing Glue, and I'm just gonna take this Morphe brush that doesn't exist anymore. We're gonna ignore it, and I'm just gonna take the sculpt side and just reinforce that cream contour that we put down. It's kind of weird. I tap on my cheeks, but I always swipe on my forehead. Take it a little bit down the sides of my nose. Okay. Now, this is the Honest Beauty 
Luminizing Glow Powder in Midnight Reflection. I'm gonna take my JH O, what is this? O9 brush. I'm just gonna swirl the product in there. This is a baked formula. This is the same. It kind of reminds me of a like a MAC formula, like a MAC Luminize Skin Finish formula. Um, once I, so when I put it on, I initially thought that it was quite texture enhancing, but I took my sponge, my damp sponge, and I just laid it on top, and then I just put some blush on. I used the Revlon Rosy Rendezvous uh, Press Blush. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a bit more like mauve in person. But yeah, so there's... It's, it's a normal baked formula, so it is, there is a little bit of kick up, kick up in the pan. And it's quite, it's, it's a, it's a real true like pinky champagne kind of vibe, like it's perfect for my skin tone. There is another color. So I just reinforced the blush and then went in with my sponge again. And then I just topped up my bronzer from the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And then went in with my sponge again. And yeah, and it, it like sunk into the skin really nice, not texture enhancing at all anymore. So I do think if you do pick up this highlighter, I do recommend just stamping it in. You can also set your face and then go in with the sponge again and just tap everything on top. Uh, what I am gonna do now though, is set my face with my Estee Lauder Set and Refresh Makeup Prepping Spray. And we're gonna let that Dry. I'm gonna go in and just press very lightly with my beauty blender. Like, literally, there's no like dent. It's literally just bouncing on my skin and it's picking up any excess product or pushing what product is there into the skin. Uh, this is really good at melting your makeup into your skin, but because I won't have this makeup on long, if you wanted it to last long, I would recommend going with like something like an all nighter or the L'Oreal Infallible like setting spray. Also for longevity, just because I do have quite a porous area in the center of my face, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Setting Powder. I find this powder very like dusty, like it breaks because it's so finely milled and it's not like hard pressed, like it does crumble. So if you're like me and you can't afford to replace this every month, I would not go in with pressing it hard. And then just going under the eyes and then down the center of the face like that because it kind of just blurs the center of your face really nicely. And this also keeps your oils at bay. So if I'm going out with friends, this is how I do my, I set my face because it just improves the longevity of it. Just keeps me matte. And when I'm sweating in the club, dancing my life out to ABBA, makeup stay. It stays, it stays and it doesn't just like slide off my face. That's my finished look with my new products, with my Black Friday products. Uh, next video I will try out the Anastasia Brow Freeze, but I just unfortunately don't have a spoolie. Don't have an eyebrow brush. I don't even have an eyebrow pen anymore because they all finish so I threw them away. Which is slightly upsetting. Did you guys see that Jason Oppenheim and Chris Chanel are dating? I was like, Okay, queen, get that coin. I had like a revelation the other day. I was like thinking back to lockdown. I literally, the first lockdown, I used to dress differently. I used to act differently. Like I was, I almost feel like a completely different person. So I posted a thing on my story and I said, think back to the start of the first lockdown. What changes do you notice about yourself? I definitely dress differently. I have a more positive outlook on life. I'm much more willing to, like I go into London a lot more obviously to see friends now. Like it's a whole, I, I'm just like more eager for life. But, so I posted on my story and most people just said that they're fatter, which is me too. But it is what it is, like we can't all be skinny sticks all the time. Someone said that they're happier. Someone, so I agree, I am a lot more happier now post uh, lockdown than I was pre-lockdown. Someone said, complete 180 growth. Uh, I'm not who I used to be and I like it. I like that one, I like that one. One of my friends said, more appreciative of the present instead of looking to the future because it's uncertain. So I'm also like that. I've I've basically like really like settled down in myself, like in terms of like what I want in life, what I'm like achieve, want to achieve, you know, just general like 
happiness like I'm just like I'm happy with the smallest things in life like someone comes and lays on me with my friend going for coffee like it's just those small things that make me happy a lot of people said travel bug which true 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 <laughs> someone said my circle got smaller but my ass got bigger these are the motives we need to have in life yeah and then other people just said like I'm getting fat like congrats guys <laughs> Actually, you're getting get fat, but we need to look on the positive side of everything. But yeah, but I'm really happy and I'm glad to be back and producing more content for you guys. If you guys have any questions for me or just a comment, like comment down below if you think back to the first lockdown, what have you changed about you? Someone comments that they're fat. I'm gonna come to your house, give you a hug, and then slap you in the face. Because we don't we don't bring the body the body the body and statements in here because what we don't care as long as our ass is fat our booties are shaking we don't care we don't care about the rest i mean yeah my man boobs are shaking at the same time that my booty's shaking but we ignore that part we ignore that part we move forward but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and still chit chat with me and i'll see you guys real soon bye oh don't forget to follow me on instagram okay bye